CPUE or catch per unit effort and the relative abundance of species in a specific water body. So we're using the same data that we use for the link frequency histogram um, video. So keep that all the same. I'm doing that right here. Uh, first off, I put all the species in a category over here. So we have our small mouth, our large mouth, our black crappie, pumpkin seed, and yellow perch. We have our totals down here. We have our number of fish, relative abundance, an effort in seconds, efforts in hour, and catch per unit effort. So what I'm going to do first is uh, count all the species that we have. So we're going to look at the smallmouth bass. You can either count them by hand or you can highlight it and go to the count function that's down here. So we have 12 smallmouth bass. Looks like two largemouth. Four black crappy. 12 pumpkin seed. And then... 19 yellow perch. So add that up. 12 plus 12 is 24 plus that. And we're going to get a number of 49. So you can do a formula here to get your relative abundance. I'm going to show you what that formula is. So relative abundance formula, I'll put it down here. Um, so you're going to do your number of fish. So number of fish divided by the total amount of all your fish that were captured. So divided by total. And we're going to multiply that by 100 because we're going to get a percentage for that. So you can do the equal sign here. 12 divided by your total number of fish, which is 49, multiplied by 100. And it gives us 24.48, which we can get rid of some of these numbers. We can just make it 24. We're going to do that here. So equals 2 times or 2 divided by 49 times 100. Okay, I'm going to do the same here. There's a way that you can keep the number the same if you throw an asterisk in or something like that. But just to show you all for here, um, we're going to do that divided by 49 times 100. I'm going to do the same for this. Equals fish divided by total number of fish times 100. And we're going to do the same here. So equals 19 divided by 49 times 100 gives us our total. We'll bring these all down. There we go. So you have our total number of percent. We can do equals. That should give us a value. Oh, I have to do sum. Ay, ay, ay. and gives us 100% for that. So right now we have our shocking time. This is how long we shocked, either boat shocking, backpack, electrofishing. We did it for 616 seconds. So we'll put 616, 616. We can just drag those all down. So we know we shocked for 616 seconds in total. Put that down there. Make that bold. Okay, make sure these two get bold. Um, now we're going to convert our effort in seconds to efforts in hours. So most of us can just go right online, do a converter. So we have 616 in hours is 0 0.1711. 0 0.1711. Again, we're just gonna, since we two of them, we can drag it down. And now we're going to do our CPUE. And this is also could be a formula. Super easy. Um, so I'm going to put it down there. CPUE. It's for unit effort. So we're going to do the number of fish divided by the effort in hours. So we'll see if we could do this here. Um, we're going to do equals number of fish divided by our effort in hours and get 70 fish per hour. So we're gonna do the same thing for here. Two divided by effort in hours, all right, equals four divided by effort in hours. Do the same for these. And do the same for the last one. So 19 divided by that. All right, so you're you're really you could round up on these. Um, you're not going to get seventy point one three fish per hour. You're either going to get seventy or seventy one, 
but in this case we would round down to 70 because of the one is not greater than five but we would get 12 fish for here 23 for here 70 for here and 111 for here so this gives you the fish if you were to do an hour worth of sampling this is how many of these fish you would catch compared to what you got in our 616 second uh, round of shocking so we would catch technically 70 smallmouth 11 largemouth 23 black crappie 70 pumpkin seed and 111 yellow perch so just we can copy this down here and we're also going to do the same thing here um, we really don't have to I don't think you need to know how many fish we may catch but um, equals some where is this highlight down here we could catch 286 fish in total that doesn't really matter but this is how you do the formula for that you can see them right here if you need help um, but yeah that's how you do CPUE and your relative abundance